Good morning YouTube, it's Scott with InsideTheCurve.com Back with another cam for your CNC router using uh, Fusion 360 uh, Beginner Tutorial Series uh, So yesterday we went over adding the holes uh, Today we're actually going to add the cutting of the profile of this part Which is just about as easy as the holes So let's go ahead and go get into it So we're just going to use the 2D menu here We're going to drop down and select 2D Contour get our proper tool which like we already have in here but if it wasn't showing up there of course like we have in previous tutorials select our tool we want to use a flat okay cool it's disabled not worried about feed and speeds right now uh, contour selection we want to select this bottom edge here we do want to add tabs to lock it in so inside the tab uh, window here you have a few different options you can the first option is rectangle or triangular I normally go with triangular just because uh, it kind of gives it like the machine kind of a ramping motion to have to stop and pick up and down it's kind of like a slow easy flowy movement that's my theory anyways uh, so we can select our tab width uh, I normally do about a quarter and a sixteenth high uh, and then you can have also do it by distance or what I normally do is by at points and I normally for something like this I would just do like a, a three uh, tab system here which if we just come top down on this we can select that pretty easily so something like that would hold that part just fine uh, so we have our tabs there Let's hit home on this, bring that back down. Alright. So that's it on that one. Our passes, we want to do multiple pass, multiple depths. We'll select that. Just because we are doing wood. Uh, this is kind of to vary on your machine, but I normally go about an eighth. Four step down. Don't need that extra decimal point. Uh, no stock to leave. Uh, duh, 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 everything looks good there and we'll hit OK so as you can see it's got our toolpath line there, our, entry, our lead in and lead out uh, got our tab showing there I'm going to hit right click over here on this contour hit simulate go ahead and hit play and speed this up to the end here where we can see the tabs go in you see how it kind of kicked up there I just prefer the triangle tabs it's all personal preference you'll kind of learn how uh, how you want your projects to flow inside of fusion so that's the end of that so basically that concludes all of our tool paths here in fusion uh, tomorrow I will make a video of this actual cutting out and I did want to show you one more thing so you can rename these uh, uh, tool pass here too so you could put uh, I normally like to put EOP uh, this to kind of make things a little more easier to read if you get into quite a few things going on here so it's a slow click uh, the EOP enter uh, slow slow click holes pocket roughing and fillet edge so this would be kind of a good point to uh, normally add uh, tool diameters and types so you can kind of come up with your own labeling system uh, like end mill em uh, like a BM for ball nose end mill uh, so I hope you got some of this video tomorrow I will do a video of this cutting out as well as posting the code we'll probably just join those together 
or maybe we'll separate them out and just do two videos tomorrow. So go ahead and uh, subscribe to make sure you catch that video, and hey, also give me a like if you got something out of it. All right, you guys have a great day. This is Scott with InsideTheCurve.com, out.